There has been some vibration when the sawmill has been running and uh, I suspect that this uh, fan that uh, blows away the wood chips, the wood sawdust when cutting so and uh, the bearings in here are bad uh, my dad had started loosening from the sawmill itself and we brought it inside uh, quite rusty bolts uh, holding kind of clamping the thing together but they came undone without breaking anything so that was nice and once they were all gone it's like a band metal band that makes up the housing itself and the sturdy lid could be removed they had also put a plate there to repair some probably rusted out holes because it has been standing outside exposed we thought we would run into issues breaking the, uh, the belt uh, wheel off but an old uh, fan belt from one of the forest machines and twisted that and it's a left hand thread but luckily some was exposed so we could figure that out uh, removed uh, uh, bearing housing here and clean things up one bearing fell apart almost as it came out but missed a little video here and seems like I have some fog or a little bit of oil on the lens here so, uh, it, it has been oiled uh, lubricated in the old days and they had that lid to fill oil but uh, with today's grease uh, when this was brand new what was grease was probably very thick and stiff we are gonna use grease to lubricate this but needed to fit the grease fitting but the hole was so big but I found that the, the thread tap for these helicoils the biggest one was big enough to cut threads in the housing so went with a helicoil insert it's a little long so I had to shorten it as you saw uh, so and then uh, finding uh, grease fittings big enough for that thread will be custom orders very special so uh, they do exist with an m12 times 7 1.75 uh, thread climb but i decided to drill a hole through a short bolt instead and thread that in an m6 that is a lot more common for grease fittings so the grease fitting could be added while bolt was tightened down with a copper washer and then a grease fitting on top of that one bolt holding the uh, bearing housing was also I'm not sure I think you don't think it's a metric thread here actually the others had were threaded in place uh, this one had a smaller bolt but it felt close enough to an M10 in thread so I made an M10 thread there and will use a nut underneath to help secure it also as far as getting the bearings in place they have had damage in the past one of the bearings mm -hmm. had extra sh little strip of metal around it and we were gonna do the same uh, again uh, ended up with trying to fit the bearing and had a little bit too much metal so the started feeling that the bearing would work so I had to hammer that out uh, I missed a little uh, when we fed, figured the rest out I brought out some feeler gauges in imperial measurements that I hardly ever use uh, one bearing ended up not being in there very good because it came out when we took it apart we had put it together to check for balance and such and my dad ended up removing a little bit of material in some uh, on one of the fan blades and uh, uh, balance should be good enough so had to redo that bearing that came out and add a little thicker feeler gauge in there and then there is a oh. felt seal in the lids here I missed when because uh, what we could get hold of was too yeah, thick yeah. but the uh, scissor could yeah. just yeah. trim it down yeah. to yeah. slightly yeah. thinner yeah. dimensions so. and before putting mm. things together we added yeah. grease until we could see 
grease coming out of the bearings then the lids were put back on there was a little tricky getting the, all the bolts I think we might have flipped the lids around but it was tricky getting the spacers in there in the felt seal so it's good enough and then some mm. tread lock on yeah. the treads and uh, a belt to hold it added a tiny bit of extra grease and it could be brought back to the sawmill it's a quite a hefty little thing so lifted back in place and my dad ended up bolting it back in place so no video of that <laughs> 